Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul with Spirit Reptiles, and I hope you enjoyed this visit of the Dallas Zoo. We're gonna go and look at the Herpetarium and just show you guys what I grew up with in Dallas, Texas. And uh, you know, let me know. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think. And hey, I hope you enjoy. enjoyed that part of the exhibit I thought it was something new I didn't even know that this was here but I just wanted to show it to you so that you could see what type of insects and arachnids that they're keeping here and you know hey let me know what you think so now I'm about to go into the herpetarium and you see Leo looking over my shoulder I really hope you enjoy this we're gonna do the best we can to get a good video out of it and uh, just please let me know what you think I'm always interested in it whether it's positive or negative it definitely makes me uh, love the hobby that much more so hey guys let's see how they uh professionally house these reptiles and amphibians and uh you know hey just what <laughs> they ain't saying that all right hey guys i hope you enjoy <laughs> I'm going to pull back so you guys can see the expanse of how big these displays are. And this is a... It's a parenti. Uh, 
a large monitor from Australia. See the habitat. And just look at how beautiful this animal is. I'm zooming in for you guys so you can get a better look. It's really pretty. Let you see the face of it. It's an amazing setup. I know a lot of the times we talk about how much humidity animals need. And again, guys, this is why I say do the research. Research, research your animals because if you were to get this guy and put him in a, a very humid environment, he probably wouldn't thrive or she wouldn't thrive. So remember, uh, always do the research on the animals. Um, I'm talking everything down to water, chemistry, the type of food that they eat. Um, everything because you don't see water anywhere except for this one small container over there. So that lets me know that this desert dwelling animal gets most of its food, most of its water source from its prey items. And it's just really terrestrial and climbing all on the rock here. Kind of like a a camera hog there, look at that. Posing. They're posing for us, man. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, you know, when, whenever I watch this, guys, I really think about the beauty and the sophistication of reptiles as they, as they have existed for, you know, millions of years and how they've just recently come into our lives in captivity no matter what. So um, just another great example of an animal that's been kept here at the Dallas Zoo. And uh, just really enjoy it, guys. This is an all-time favorite for a lot of people. You know, you see the area that it lives here in South, Southeast America, North America. And see if I can get it back there. It's told it was back here in the back. It's inside the log. Yeah, I see it back there. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's naturally disguised.
best last name ever. He must have got bit and died. He's one of the McGregors who found a snake and got bit and died. My name is Humpty. What else would it all be?
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Dallas Zoo's herp herpetology, herpetarium. And, uh, you know, shit. I mean, when you look at that many snakes and amphibians and reptiles, it just, you know, sometimes you get a little tongue twisted. As you know, I get tongue twisted anyway. But, hey guys, I thank you for tuning in to this video by Spheric Reptiles. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if nothing else, enjoy your time with your reptiles and enjoy your time with your family.